Hey, this is Chris for Guitar.com here at NAMM 2019 with Adam from Gretsch, who's going to talk us through their new models. So should we kick off with that? Yeah, certainly. This is uh, the new Players Edition uh, BT Jet, or one of them at least. We've introduced three new uh, finishes on this guitar, which is a guitar that we, the model we first introduced uh, this time last year at NAMM. Uh, the Players Edition uh, guitars are something that we uh, introduced as a range, a whole range of Players Edition guitars with modern features for the modern player. Uh, so you have locking tuners, graph tech nut, um, uh, no low tone control, treble bleed on the volume and so forth, and really cool little subtle features like the curved over heel that makes really comfortable under the palm to get up to those higher registers. Um, and then the, uh, the rest of it is kind of pure Gretsch build uh, in terms of the, the, the build of the guitar is unique to Gretsch with its chambered uh, mahogany back. It's fully chambered all the way around here and that moving air really gives that Gretsch tone that everyone knows and loves. Uh, and then this, obviously, we've applied the classic Gretsch silver sparkle finish to this particular model, um, but then it's kind of offset it with this black um, surrounds on the pick pickups and the black pick guard, just to give a little bit of contrast. And that's maybe a slightly bigger flake. Than, than yeah, slightly bigger flake on the on the silver, um, and which contrasts nicely with the aged binding as well, of course, and multiple uh, purfling as well. Um, really cool guitar with our our own design of uh, V-stop tailpiece as well, which uh, harks back to the. Uh, old Falcon tailpiece from the 50s. Um, and talking of harking back, because we, we don't want to uh, deny our history, even though it's a modern guitar with the, the new studded bridge and the lower neck set, it also has the older features like the classic uh, scripty logo from 1953, big block inlays. Um, so very much a guitar for, uh, with a nod to the past, but very much looking to the future for Gretsch. Um, the pickups are the BT65s, which are the Vodron pickups. Uh, so they have a slightly wider pulse pacing than a regular Filtertron, which gives them a little bit more power output, a little bit more punch, a um, bit girth, um, really powerful, great sounding loud pickups. Um, but the key thing is they retain that Gretsch um, clarity and fidelity. So the Gretsch is known for its very cool, clean sound. These do dirt as well as the clean sound. They maintain the classic Gretsch clean sound, but they can really handle a lot of dirt as well. Uh, and as I say, with the treble bleed on there, you can maintain your tone and just pull it back uh, to clean up and then crank it up to push the amp into overdrive. So uh, but so that's the, uh, the silver sparkle. I'll grab one of our other new colors here. So, candy apple red. You can't really go wrong with candy apple red on the guitar. It's maybe the world's favorite guitar color. And this one has been executed flawlessly by our guys over in Japan. Um, really deep, lustrous, rich finish on there. Uh, and again, uh, a lot of people associate Gretsch with pure bling, like sparkle and oranges and whites. And but this is a bit more classy, sort of low-key finish for those mm -hmm. players who want a bit of a subtler guitar looking guitar, but still have that Gretsch clarity and, and the unique Gretsch sound that we that we offer. And the gold creates a really nice contrast with the candy apple red there as well. Exactly. So you've got the kind of gold with the the, the candy, but also with the the nickel hardware, so you've got that sort of a multiple finish thing, but it, it really works on these guitars. Uh, again, with the uh, locking tuners, as I say, all the features, the rounded heel, shallow strap locks. Okay, so this is uh, the same guitar as the last one, but with the, another new finish that we've introduced here at NAMM, which is the classic uh, candy apple red, which uh, I think you'll agree is one of the world's favorite guitar colors, and here has been executed really flawlessly by our team in Japan. Um, and with a couple of, you know, different finish um, accoutrements because we, uh, we like to change, mix it up and change it to suit the particular um, finish of the guitar. So here we have the gold pick guard instead of the black, you saw on the other one, with the gold surrounds, which contrasts nicely with the nickel hardware and that really deep, as I say, candy apple red metallic finish. And yeah, still with all the other players' edition features we spoke about, uh, with the locking tuners, shallow strap locks, Again, the chambered mahogany body, lots of air moving inside there to give a really powerful and full sound. Uh, so that, yeah, candy apple red on that one. And we have one more finish on the BT Jets, which is one more new finish, uh, which is the uh, scarlet stain over the uh, flame top. So we, have a, we introduced uh, two flame top models this time last year, which was the bourbon stain and the cherry, deep cherry stain. And so we're adding the scarlet stain to that. 
which is um, again really sort of classy, not too flashy, but still a little bit of um, show off about it. Kind of reminds me of the old New Jet model that used to have a flame top. Do you remember that? Yeah, one absolutely. The, yeah, yeah. It's always a really cool guitar. Yeah, but those ones, I mean, because what we've done with the chambering in these, we've, we've brought it back to the vintage style chambering. Mm -hmm. So those ones were less chambered in those days, and these ones really have quite a broad amount of chambering inside. So a lot lighter as well because mm -hmm. of that. Um, again, scripty logo, all of those features. Great, and a round of applause, which is always nice. Well, yes, we love a round of applause <laughs> in these parts. Cool. So shall we move on to some guitars with even more air in them? Let's do that. Excellent. So, yeah, we're, we're literally moving through the, uh, the levels of chambering. So uh, that's beautiful. New center block guitars. So again, we introduced uh, the upgraded range of um, Pro Series center blocks uh, last year. And we introduced uh, a Nashville model and a Falcon model. And they, they're still going. The, the last Nashville model had the, well, the other, the other Nashville model had the flame finish mm -hmm. and the gold hardware. So again, we're going a little bit less bling, a little bit more classy, if you like, with this Nashville model, which um, has a few little nods back to the original uh, roundup of the uh, mid 50s. Uh, in that the orange we're calling roundup orange, it has that slightly darker browny hue to it. Uh, the torty pit guard mm. uh, with the, the Nashville uh, signpost logo there. Um, and because this is what this guitar, even though it's a player's edition, so it has all the locking tuners and, and no load tone control and Tusk XL nut that we talked about on the other guitars, um, because this one's harking back to sort of more, more the orange blooded Gretsch player, if you like, <laughs> uh, these ones have the classic Gretsch filtertrons on them. And, uh, and the Bixby, of course, because everyone likes the Bixby. So it's such a renowned uh, part of Gretsch uh, culture. Uh, but yeah, just a really beautiful guitar. Um, and then the other one in the center block line, uh, well, one of the other ones in the center block line is the Black Falcon. So we introduced the White Falcon center block before, and so we've just ad uh, added to the range of the Black Falcon. So mm -hmm. again, just an alternative finish to a classic looking instrument. Again, with the Gretsch filter drums. Yeah. And that famous headstock, of course. <laughs> um, and then, so for the other players' edition center blocks, um, we have really kind of re we concentrate on, on the junior models because we noticed when we introduced the broadcaster, that's what we're calling the, uh, the center block range in general, the broadcaster series, uh, the junior models are really selling very well mm -hmm. because they're 14 inches across, they're much more manageable for somebody who's coming from, say, a solid body uh, mm -hmm. environment, but they want that hollow body or semi-hollow body vibe, look and sound. Yeah. So these are for people who are like half the size of you and me. Well, <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Makes, uh, yeah, this kind of looks like a kind of small guitar on us, doesn't it? But it's, uh, <laughs> some people, still quite big. The blue's but, great. Yeah, this is Azure Metallic. Mm -hmm and goes really nicely with the gold hardware. And these pickups are the USA made Gretsch Fultrons. Right. So they, as the name suggested, they have more power, they have a fuller sound than the standard Filtertrons, lots more output. And they're the only uh, USA ma a US made Gretsch pickups that we do at the moment. Okay. The other ones are made in Japan. And of course we have the TV Jones, which are made in the USA mm -hmm. on the other, but they're not our, our brand of pickups. Uh, again, with all the players edition features, Treble bleed, no load tone control, Tusk XL nut, locking tuners. Um, yeah. Uh, oh, and the pinless Bixby, of course. Cool. As I've mentioned on the other one, it's yes. got the pinless Bixby, so it's just string straight through. With the locking tuners, it makes it one of the easiest guitars to restring. Just, just put it in there, put it up there, lock it, done. Uh, and then the other finish we've introduced on this line, to complement, uh, we have the other finishes we introduced last year here, to, so to complement the range, the bourbon stain which we had on the 16 inch model last year, yeah. uh, which we now put on this junior model. The junior, of course, only refers to the size, nothing to do with any um, level of playing or anything yes, like that. <laughs> <laughs> so again, with the Fultron, USA made Fultron pickups and all the features that we talked about, just a really nice flame finish yeah, on great. there. Yeah. Excellent, right, should we move on to uh, uh, this Yes, okay. hollow bodies, yes. Well, there's, there's really only one actually. Uh, this one. Okay. Um, this is a new model that uh, was just uh, confirmed for release a couple of days ago, actually. Right. So we're still getting familiar with it. This is a Steve Warriner signature model. Oh, cool. uh, Steve Warriner is one of the uh, sort of Nashville's greatest uh, session players and, and singer-songwriters, and uh, he's a 
he was one of the few uh, people to be certified CGP by Chad Atkins. Uh -huh. you see. <laughs> so that's a high honor in itself. Uh, and uh, his signature model is based around a 6120 Nashville body. We're calling it a Nashville gentleman because it's kind of oh, got cool, yeah. elements of the country gentleman as well. Yeah. For example, the um, enclosed F holes, the closed F holes which are painted on here. Mm -hmm. And also this guitar is a 25 and a half inch scale. Right. Most Gretsches, or almost all Gretsches, I think, which have a 16 inch body, normally have a 24.6 inch scale. So having the longer scale on this one is, is unique to this. Black spark looks amazing under the lights as well. Yeah. I don't know if you can kind of tilt it a little bit for the camera. We're calling it Magic Black. Very nice. Yeah. Uh, so locking tuners, uh, brass nut, uh, brass Chuark rocking bar bridge. Mm -hmm. um, an interesting uh, neck pickup there yeah, as well. Yes, so we've got the TV Jones Duotron mm -hmm. uh, pickup here, which has got the bar magnets on one side and the pole piece on the other. Mm. The idea of that being that you don't, when you're bending strings, you don't lose any mm. kind of imp it continues going, uh, aids the uh, sustain when you're bending. So it's kind of like half a Supertron, half a filter. Exactly, yeah. And then that's a TV Classic in the back. Um, and you'll notice the control layout is slightly different. So we've got master volume, as mm. usual, pickup selector switch, and this master tone. Right. But there's a secret here, we've also got push pull pop okay which is a coil tap oh, great. which is the first time on any production Gretsch we've had a coil tap on yeah. Filtertron style pickups so that's really cool and the string through Bigsby and of course as with all our floating bridges these days they're pinned so they yeah. won't move underhand uh, ebony board multiple binding just a really beautiful guitar even if you don't know who Steve Warner is or you're not a fan this is still a great guitar just as a player's instrument because it's been put together by a professional Nashville guy mm -hmm. and we know how good those Nashville guys are for Indeed, any style yeah, of music. it's kind of optimized for live performance a little bit that's exactly. what it feels like yeah me. exactly and the, and the longer scale just gives it a bit more snap and twang as well great okay so that's the only new one in the hollow body thing okay. so the next up is going to be the electromatics and streamliners great so we'll walk this way Whoa, okay. What are we doing on here? Uh, here. So okay. Here we are. Um, so, again, as with the uh, solid body models in the Pro Series, which we looked at earlier, we introduced the upgraded versions of them last year. And uh, we did the same thing with the Electromatic Series. As I say, we call them solid body models, but just to remind you for the third time, I think that they are actually <laughs> all chambered. It's absolutely all of our solid body models are chambered because that is part of the Gretsch sound. That's our mm -hmm. thing, uh, all that air moving. And this is a mahogany body, mahogany neck, maple top. And this is one of our new colors. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is uh, mm. jade gray metallic. Very nice. And yeah, it's one of those guitars where in some lights it might look even black and then we, the lights will catch it and it will just um, shine out. And we have the Broadtron pickups again here. These are the Electromatic Broadtrons, so we call them the Blacktop uh, Broadtrons because of the black bob in there. And the Blacktop pickups in general, including the Filtertrons, tend to have more of a mid-range, sort of up and mid-range punch to them. So right. it's, it's quite a different tone to the uh, professional series uh, pickups, or indeed the Streamliner pickups, which we'll talk about in a minute. Uh, still got the treble bleed and the master volume. You've got the master tone, you've got the volume per pickup as usual. Um, these have uh, black walnut fingerboards because oh, cool. we know about the uh, the rosewood issues we've sure. been Does hitting the market lately. change the tone at all? Not at all. We've, right. we've deliberately um, chosen woods which are visibly and sonically and, and by feel the same as yeah. close as we can get and you can see just by looking at that. If I hadn't mentioned it you wouldn't have noticed right? Yeah I probably would have thought it was rosewood. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> and uh, on the electromatics we have the uh, um, Graftech Nubo Nut as well. Great. We've got the uh, as I said V stop tail which runs through the whole range of uh, Gretsch's. Um, and age binding and we have one more new finish on the solid bodies to complement the existing finishes mm -hmm. and that's this Aleutian blue very very nice indeed it's some really cool metallics this year yeah it's another great. round of applause for the Aleutian blue as well which is brilliant <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah this is um, on the FT uh, on the FT jets so the FT jets have the Filtertron pickups in these case of course the black top Filtertrons mm -hmm. and our FT jets again as I said earlier are more for the orange blooded Gretsch fan and uh, so we put a Bixby on there as well yeah. so generally BT's hardtail FT's Bixby mm -hmm. uh, for now until we get the license B50 yeah. exactly yes license B50 um, and what else to say about that uh, just admire the colour for a moment yeah. why, it's why extremely not? cool so yeah <laughs> So okay. that's the um, solid bodies. Yeah. Uh, these are pretty exciting. Center blocks. Um, this is a brand new range of center blocks in the Electromatic series. So we, th we've had the 16 inch center blocks, the full size center blocks for some time now, and we've introduced these to junior models. I mentioned them earlier with the professional collections, yes. that people are really into the junior models because they, they're much more accessible to somebody who's using a, 
a solid body of some sort and wants to transfer and get that uh, semi-hollow kind of look and sound. Uh, so we've introduced three. We've gone for the single cutaway to, to kind of go, coincide with the professional collection model. Uh, Azure Metallic, nice. which is really beautiful with the gold hardware. Again, these got the Broadtron uh, black top um, pickups on them. We did a limited edition version of this at the end of last year, which had the filter trons on it. So that was slightly different. So these are the Broadtrons with that bit more output and, and punch to them. It's and almost like a flame in the board as well. It's really nice. Uh, yeah, well, these yeah. ones have a laurel fingerboard. Okay. So that's, again, one of our moves away from Bracewood. But the, the laurel fingerboard, yeah, this particular model, these, these ones, again, this one particularly, you wouldn't tell that from Rosewood, but this mm -hmm. one, as you say, has a little bit of variance in the, in the, uh, the wood. Mm -hmm. Again, Graftech new bone nut on these. Treble bleed on the volume. Mm -hmm. uh, very cool. And the center block has all, all our center blocks is spruce, right. and it's chambered. Okay. So there's... Um, there's holes basically that run down inside the block here, which yeah. not only relieves the weight a little, but maintains more of that hollow body sort of sound. That's great. So that's the Azure Metallic. Cool, so Streamliners. Yep. Uh, streamliners, loads of them. <laughs> okay, where do we start? Let's pick up one of my favorites, I guess. So Streamliners introduced in uh, 20, at NAMM 2016, three years ago. And... Um, Highly successful. Yeah. Um, our, our foray into the more affordable line of Gretsch uh, solid body and center block instruments. This one I picked up is the full size 16 inch center block guitar and it's in one of the new finishes. Uh, so the upgrades we've done basically, we've, re we've redesigned the whole line essentially. Right. And amongst uh, many aesthetic details, uh, it's a whole let line of new colors. We've kept some of the popular colors, but we've introduced some new colors as well. This one's one of my favorite, it's gunmetal and it really changes in the light. It can go from quite light, sort of grayish green to a dark, almost black finish. Uh, other aesthetic details, we've done aged multiple binding now. Right. Um, we have uh, the big block inlays on some guitars and hump block on the hollow bodies. Uh, we've got three ply pick guard. Uh, these all have laurel fingerboards as well now. Mm -hmm. um, and then, but most importantly perhaps, is the pickups we have upgraded the pickups. So the original pickups back in 2016 were designed especially for the Streamliner guitars um, and we've now taken them which were already good pickups and we've tweaked them even further. Uh, still Alnoco 5's just changed the winding a bit, they've got a tighter bass, a bit more um, clarity throughout and um, but maintaining the fidelity of a, the classic Gretsch sound and these are called the BT2S so the 2 refers to the, the series because this is the 2655's the Streamliner. So um, yeah great sounding pickups now and um, yeah, and we have ooh, so many finishes. How many do you want to go through? Um, well, maybe we can keep them on the wall and you can just kind of quickly give us a, sure. an overview of the colors. So we have, we kept the Torino green from last time because yeah. it's one of the best selling colors. Um, we've got the Riviera blue. Uh, we've got the Fairlane blue on the junior model there. Uh, and all the models we have, th of the three basic models, center block, center block junior and hollow body, there's available with Bixby or without Bixby. Right. Um, we have the single barrel stain. Um, that's a Riviera Blue again, and with a torty pick guard it's on some of them. The torch, yeah. yeah, the Gold Dust was from last year, which is another popular one. Mm -hmm. Candy Apple Red, as we said earlier, the world's favourite guitar colour. So you can't go wrong with the Candy Apple Red on there. These are the hollow body models. All the hollow body models have the f secured floating bridge, so yeah. it's not going to fly around under your hand. This one I really like. I'm going to pick this one up quick. Village Amber, oh, nice. with a torty pick guard yeah. for your jazzier moments. <laughs> Um, of which there are many. Oh, right. yes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah I heard, it, heard that about you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then we've got the Walnut. Um, we've got the Brooklyn Burst, which we had last year. Really popular. Another really cool new finish. The Phantom Metallic. And uh, with the Torty Pick Guard. And uh, we've got two lefties this year. So the, oh, cool. the Torino Green. So I'm, last year the Torino Green wasn't available in lefty. So I'm right. hoping the Southport guys out there will be craving that color on the guitar and we've also done the new color the single barrel stain and then finally my other favorite color on the junior model oh wow that's cool yeah. this is imperial stain yeah. so you can really see the wood grain on that so that's really cool Look, kind of workhorse looking thing and again with that junior body that some people might prefer it's kind of confidence inspiring as well on like an affordable kind of more entry level guitar that you're doing transparent colours and stains that yeah. show that the wood isn't you know just exactly. kind of low end yeah. or it's cobbled because together. We, yeah, we don't we don't just go to any factory and just say build us a guitar. We really yeah. designed everything from the ground up and then 
went to many factories to get the best possible people we could get to do it. Um, so yeah, thanks for noticing that. No so very beautiful, new streamliners. Great. So in terms of availability, when are these things going to hit the shops? Uh, they are, they've already arrived. They're, they sh so that's yeah, so the first day of NAM. They'll be shipping now. Great. Okay. <laughs> Thanks very much, Adam. No Cheers. Problem. Hey, this is Chris for Guitar.com at NAM 2019.